Let's proceed to example number 4. Investigate the continuity of the function f of x equals the absolute value of x minus 3 where x is not equal to 3 and the constant function 2 where x is equal to 3. We check whether the function satisfies the three conditions. We now investigate whether f of x exists. We use the function f of x equals 2 because in this function, the condition is x equals 3. Evaluating the function, we will have f of 3 equals 2. Since the resulting expression is a real number, we can say that f of 3 exists. Hence, the function satisfies the first condition. We now investigate whether the limit of the given function exists by showing the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the left is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the right. Evaluating the limits, we will have the absolute value of 3 minus 3 is equal to the absolute value of 3 minus 3. Simplifying both sides, we will get 0 equals 0. With this, we can say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 is 0. We can therefore conclude that the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 exists. Hence, satisfying the second condition of continuity of function at a number. For the last step, we investigate whether the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 is equal to f of 3. Now going back to step 2, the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 is 0, whereas the limit of f of 3 is 2. Now since 0 is not equal to 2, we can conclude that f of x is not continuous at x equals 3. We verify our answer by analyzing the graph of the function. Now, in the graph of the absolute value of x minus 3, where x is not equal to 3, notice that there is a hole at x equals 3. So, in order to trace the other half of the graph, we have to lift our pen. Now, to trace the constant function, we have to lift again our pen. With this, we can strongly conclude that f of x is discontinuous at x equals 3.